First look at the official beta of Pixel Experience based on Android 12 running on the Poco X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the official beta of Pixel Experience based on Android 12 running on the Poco X3 Pro. As you can see, security patch is from November. The kernel they are using is Perf kernel. SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box. And this is how the ROM comes out of the box. So this here is the power menu. This is how the volume panel looks like. And this is how your quick settings panel is going to look like. If you tap on edit, you do have the option of adding more tiles, but unfortunately you do not have the independent tiles for your mobile data and Wi-Fi. So that is something which has not been added to this specific build. Next up, if you press and hold on the empty space, go into home settings. You do have at a glance working without any issues. You do have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now. Then you also have your app suggestions, the option to search your phone. So let us go ahead and check if system wide search is working or not. And there it is. You can see that system wide search is working and you can of course configure what all content you want to be shown in your system wide search. Then we can go into the video widgets section now do note once you enable the first easter egg you do get a new android s easter egg widget as well and here it is on your screen right now you can see working without any issues along with the option to share your paint chips using the quick share menu provided by android then if you go into clock you do have the new clock widgets as well which do have a fancy stopwatch along with it and if you go into the google option you do have the new weather widgets as well working without any issues then we can go into wallpapers and style now here and you do have a toggle for themed icons changing your application grid and a toggle to enable or disable your dark theme as well and this is how the dark theme is going to look like let us have a look at the volume panel and the quick settings panel for dark theme as well then you can of course change the color based on your specific preferences or you can use the basic colors as well going to change wallpaper you do have the pixel exclusive bloom wallpapers along with the option of downloading the bloom light wallpapers as well then we can switch over to another wallpaper and as you can see material you has kicked in the icons have changed let us have a look at the volume panel so yes volume panel has changed quick settings panel has adapted to the new material you theme and any applications which support the new material you have switched over working without any issues then this is how the recents are going to look like select working without any issues same applies for the screenshot option as well now while we are talking about screenshots let us head over to the settings page and have a look at whether we have the extended screenshot or not so here it is capture mode in the building tap on this pretty cool animation the nubs are there select whatever content you want to capture and once you're satisfied tap on save on the top left bam screenshot saved working like a boss then i'm pretty sure you're here for the pixel 6 exclusive features so let us ask the lady hey google interpreter mode so yep there it is you can see that we do have the option of interpreter mode and let us try to use it and see if it is working or not so tap on the mic hey so first time it always scratches for me i don't know why let us invoke it one more time let's give it a try second time around tap on the mic hi how are you so as you can see looks to be working yep so interpreter mode works without any issues next up let us see if the assistant typing feature is there or not let us tap on this mic while using the application speak now it is listening it is typing but again i am not getting the other options or the help icon on the left hand side and let me see if the command of clear all clear all 
Yep, so assistant typing, which is the Pixel 6 Pro exclusive, is not working on this build. Then we can also go into settings, and surprisingly, if you go into system, you have the option of live translate, but when you play a video on YouTube, you do not get the option of using live translate in your live caption window. So that is another bug. And those of you who want to ask me about the recorder, here it is. Let us try to record it. And when I go into transcript, I try to turn it on. But as you can see, even if it turns on, it is not working. It is not transcribing anything. So that feature is also broken on this specific build. Then we can see if we have the feature of magic eraser in the photos application or not. So here it is. Let me try to edit this picture. And as you can see, I'm not getting the option of tools, which means magic eraser is also not there. However, if I try to edit a picture of my favorite football star, wait for this loading bar to finish. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the feature of portrait light. So yes, portrait light is there working without any issues, but magic eraser is not there. Similarly, we can also head over to the Google Play Store, go into settings about here is Play Protect certification device is certified, which means safety net is passing. Your banking apps are going to work without any issues. Now, with respect to the assistant lady, she is there and she works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well next up we can head over to settings now once you're in settings let us go into apps see all apps choose any application let us go into chrome go into permissions location so three different options for your location and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the precise location then you also have a toggle to remove the permissions and free up space if app is not used for some time and once an application is removed it is going to show up in the unused application section game dashboard is enabled out of the box and once you enable it you will get this arrow on any game tap on the arrow tap on the controller here it is game dashboard of android 12 working without any issues you can of course enable the different options of screenshot screen record and your fps meter this pill you can move around and it snaps to the edges as well youtube live streaming works without any issues optimization feature needs to be enabled by the game developer then heading back into your applications the default apps you do have your pixel launcher phone app messaging app everything is the one from google then we can head over to the next option which here in is your notifications so you do have your per app notification along with notification history priority conversations and bubbles are also there do note whatsapp does not support android bubbles right now then you also have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now next option we have over here is battery so you do have per app thermal profiles and here are the different thermal profile options which are available you do have a gaming thermal profile which is present going to battery usage you are going to get the pixel 6 style graphs and if you tap on any of these lines it will show you the usage for that specific hour then you have your battery saver along with the extreme battery saver adaptive battery is there and a toggle to enable or disable the battery battery percentage in your status bar go into sound and vibration you do have the different sliders then you have customization for your live caption and your quick settings media player which is this specific two options over here next up you have toggles for all the different options which you see and you also have me sound enhancer and the option of clearing the speaker in case you want to use any of those options Next up, we have the option of display, but before that, let us enable the refresh rate toggle. So let me search for refresh rate and we should get the option of show refresh rate in developer options. Enable this. You can see on the top left, everything is at 120 now. However, if you go into the option of display, you will notice you do not have the option of customizing your refresh rate. So that is one feature which is missing. Adaptive brightness is there and it works without any issues lock screen here and you can show your wallet show your device controls go into ambient display you do have your pickup race to wake hand wave pocket mode always on display is not there then 
you also have your screen timeout now here in the option of screen attention is missing then you have dark theme you can of course schedule your dark theme based on a custom time or from sunset to sunrise then you can change the font size the display size and you also have night light customization along with the option of controlling the intensity of the night light going to colors you can switch between natural boosted and saturated rgb customization is not present auto rotate screen is there and you have the toggle to enable face detection as well then you also have double tap to wake so let us test that out and yes as you can see on your screen right now double tap to wake is working without any issues then you have the option of security so in security you do get the new security app once you have updated all your applications from the play store no face unlock but you do have fingerprint unlock and again you only have touch to unlock you do not have press to unlock working without any issues next up we have the option of privacy so herein you do have the new android 12 privacy dashboard which is going to show you the usage by different sensors then you have toggles to enable or disable the system wide camera access and microphone access along with the toggle to show clipboard access so how do these system wide toggles work let us go ahead open the camera application try to go into to the video mode and once we are in video mode we can try to record a video now once the video recording has started if i access my notifications it is telling me that camera is being used by the camera application in fact it should tell me that mic is also being used so that here is another bug and if i block the camera access then the notification disappears and the screen recording or the video recording should have stopped and it did not which and there it is so now we are getting the camera error because i did disable camera access while the recording was going on so it is working as intended the only bug is that we are not getting the notification about microphone access then we can jump over to the option of system here and again you do have live translate but as i mentioned earlier it is not working with youtube and neither is it working with live caption go into gestures you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice with respect to your system navigation you have three different options full screen gestures you can of course swipe to invoke the assistant in case you want to and then you also have the option of configuring your sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge two button navigation is also there along with the old school three button navigation one handed mode is there and it works without any issues you can of course create a shortcut for one handed mode as well in case you want to do that then you have press and hold power button so you can customize this to invoke the assistant and here it is you can see working without any issues now how do you turn off your device then you will have to use the power button on your quick settings panel to turn off your device and then you also have the option of prevent ringing now do note if you are using your power button to turn off the device then this option is disabled because that shortcut is now assigned to your power menu as well so if you disable this toggle now and if i go back there it is prevent ringing by pressing power and volume up together is now back in action then you also have your rules option so in case you want to configure say i want to turn off my wi-fi once i leave my home that is something which you can set up over here next up let us have a look at the app opening animations do note by default it is at 120 and as you can see on your screen right now app opening animations are pretty smooth there are no jitters and no lags recents pretty smooth pretty fast we can have a look at our google feed also now once the content has been cached there are no jitters and no lags in the google feed either the transition from google feed to your home screen is also pretty smooth then we can try to switch between a few applications to see if you have any issues in that regard and as you can see no issues in switching between applications either so the gestures are working as expected now what is the final take on this beta build of pixel experience well as the name suggests it is still in beta and you do have a few features and a few core functionalities of the pixel 6 pro which are not working as intended on this rom so yes there is definitely some room for improvement and you should try out the rom only if you want to try out android 12 on your poco x3 pro because pretty sure you're going to switch over to some other rom as all features are not working as expected but then again they do label the rom as a beta build so all in all great to see android 12 pixel experience 
running pretty smooth on the Poco X3 Pro and there it is peeps that was our first look at pixel experience beta based on android 12 running on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you